Right here, I'm Sean. I'm Dan. This is a new little series of plugin reviews where we're going to get to the point very quickly and, and tell you what a plugin does, whether it's any good or not. Basically, is it shit? So we're going to start off with uh, from Plugin Alliance, the Brainworks AMEC 9099 channel strip. I got this. Well, I got this. I don't know three months ago or something like that, and I've I've ended up using it a lot. Mm. What do you reckon? So what, what what is it? Take us through it. What does it do? So it's basically uh, it's a it's the AMEC 9098 was a very famous AMEC mixing console, mm -hmm. beautiful console. Um, Brainworks have basically physically modeled a channel strip yep. and sort of improved it a little bit. So it's got a gate, it's got a compressor, it's got mm -hmm. a limiter, it's got a really nice EQ. And like a lot of the Brainworks stuff, it's got a few extra functions. So it's got a mono maker. So you set a frequency, say 200 Hertz, everything below that goes into mono. Really useful for drum loops or, or any kind of stuff when you're using loops. Mm -hmm. It's also got stereo width enhancement, you know, in the same section. So you can make things a little wider. It's got a phase button. It's a it's, phase button. Reverse the phase. Yeah. Useful, you know, useful. Working with snares, top and bottom, reverse yeah. the phase, whatever. There's all so kinds dynamics, of so we've got uh, dynamics. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a very, very well specced channel strip. And do you know what I like generally about this and yeah. things, plugins like this is that there's no graphic display showing you the EQ. So you have to use your ears. You think that's a plus? Yeah, because after, for years you get used to seeing it and you forget that this is all about using your ears, not not does it look right. Mm. So so this makes you listen. So what have you used it on? I found it to be brilliant on loops, drum loops. It's really good. The EQ is very nice and, mm. and subtle. It's not spiky like an SSL EQ. It's very subtle and sort of very warm and rounded kind of sounding. It's really good on individual drums. If you had to mix a drum kit, this would be awesome. So if you're looking for something uh, over the top and aggressive, this isn't the plugin. This is this is a, a subtle. Yeah, I think you can do aggressive with it, but this is much better suited to doing nice things. And th there's a couple of extra things it does, which is which is sort of common to the Brainworks plugin. So it has this thing called TMT technology, mm. where normally when a company- That sounds like one of those uh, acronyms that like, nobody knows what it actually does. I know what it does, I just don't know what it stands for. <laughs> So basically what they've done is normally when you model a mixing desk channel, they, yeah. they physically model one and turn that into a plugin and you can use it as many times as you like. What they've done is they've modeled 72 different channels and you can choose which one. So like, you know, if you've got a stereo channel up, mm -hmm. it, it can be channel one and two, three and four, whatever. So they're all slightly different. So they do that real analog thing. So on a real analog mixing desk, you can set all the settings on two adjacent channels exactly okay. the same, yep. and they won't be quite the same. Right. Gives it that analog mojo. This has that. Mm. And it also has this function where once you've done your mix, and you, you might have used this 20 times, you mm. can click a button and it will randomize which channel they're all modeling. Mm. It's just nice. It's just an analog kind of vibe. Okay, because you've always told me, Sean, in the mm. past, that analog buttons just make your digital plugins noisy. That's that's, that's RC Waves and a few other people have like an analog button on yeah. their plugins mm. and it just adds noise. Noise, yeah. Which I don't really want noise, but okay. you're just trying to get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this this doesn't do that. It does okay. have this thing um, where you can add sort of, I don't know, what, what do they call it? Sorry, I'm going to have to look on here. So THD, I think it's something harmonic distortion. So you can mm. add a bit of the, the, the natural harmonic distortion you would get from an analog circuit. You can have more or less of that. That's, you know, I quite like that. You can drive it. You know, they do an SSL channel as well, and if you really drive that, that's when it starts to actually sound like an SSL. So I, I, I think it's amazing. I think it's really good. There well, is... you, you've just taken the... Well, no, I haven't. There's there's an issue with it. What? It, it costs a shit ton. I think well, it's, not... it's got the AMA brand on it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you something. It's over $400, mm. which is quite a lot of money. So based on that, I, I, they do sales, Plugin Alliance, and I think I got it for $99 or something. Free trial? I think there is a free trial. I'm not 100% sure on that. Mm. I think for $99, if you can get it for that, bang, easy, definitely have it. But but 400 and something, mm. that's, that's a lot of money for, you know. For, so Sean, yeah. is it shit? No, it's not shit, it's actually pretty good. Okay. Cool, Amec 99.